I've long thought of a lot of these plays of sitting in a space which is half real and is half a kind of dream space. And that was an idea that we took into designing ghosts. I'm Will Tosh, Head of Research at Shakespeare's Globe, and I'm joined by Joe Hill Gibbons, Director of Ghosts at the residence of the Norwegian Ambassador to the UK in London. Joe, tell us a little bit about Ghosts and about Henrik Ibsen. Henrik Ibsen is a Norwegian playwright who was writing in the second half of the 19th century. Ghosts is a play about a screwed up family and a couple of characters who are in their orbit. It is an extremely atmospheric and focused claustrophobic play. It's the 10th anniversary year for the Playhouse. We're marking its 10 years at the start of January 24. It was a reconstruction of the kind of indoor playhouses that Shakespeare knew. And what's been really exciting is, is watching the broad dramatic canon come into the Playhouse. What is it about, about, about Ibsen's work that attracted you? Previously, the plays that had been done there were early modern plays. They were Shakespeare plays or Jacobean plays, Elizabethan plays. Michelle Terry, who is the artistic director of Shakespeare's Globe, thought it was time to expand the repertoire of what was going to be put on in there. And she said, do you have any ideas? So I thought about it. At the top of the list was ghosts. The ghosts that are mentioned in it, they're the ghosts of memories from the past, but also that idea of what a ghost is expanded to ideas and notions and conventions that still keep rising up to haunt us. Thinking about that in that candlelit space, this would be a good place to try to invoke some of those ghosts. Tell us a little bit about how you've reworked the Sam Want to Make a Playhouse space for the show. We basically add two elements into that incredible room. A very large purple carpet, and behind that is a large mirror the combination of this kind of lush, kind of maroony carpet and these mirrors behind it has a little bit the quality of a brothel. Sex work is, is a, this kind of spectre that kind of haunts some of the characters in it. Helen Alving is obsessed with the idea of what people know about her past and what people know about her marriage and what she's able to conceal from them. And so this idea where we create the space where there are eyes, people watching them everywhere, even upstage of them reflected in the mirror, definitely expresses that. You lay a very beautiful but highly flammable looking shag pile rug over the entire stage under a whole load of candles. The candles are so central to that theatre that you can't help but think about how are we going to incorporate them in the action of the play, either very literally or suggestively. The good thing is, though, from a health and safety point of view, you'll be thrilled to know, Will, that it's not flammable. <laughs> yeah, no, and, and in fact, Will's the production manager would come in, light a candle and just drop it on the carpet and we'd all look at it and go, no, that's not catching fire. But yeah, we were very aware of the way that fire is an important part of the plot when there's a fire. And so, of course, already it's great having all those candles in there. Tell us a little bit about the translation you use, because you worked from a literal translation, but the the, the script, much of it, is also, is also your work. What approaches did you take to rendering a 19th century Norwegian play into English, which feels really quite contemporary? In one sense, the setting is quite, kind of feels like metaphorical or mythical or somehow out of time. This kind of poetic landscape, as much as it is a literal landscape. And quite a Shakespearean landscape. Absolutely. And of course, there's a side to the play which is really looking at psychology and sexuality. And those themes seem to be kind of timeless. But on the other hand, there are things which do feel very time specific. The role of religion is really important in it. The role of syphilis, the fact that it opened up very clear parallels with HIV and the AIDS crisis. What for you and what for your company are ghostly conventions or beliefs walking amongst us that we need a play like Ghosts written about to exorcise? There are ideas of patriarchal oppression and conventions which are very much loaded against women. Unfortunately, those ghosts are still rising up and amongst us now. So, it, you know, it, it, we didn't really feel like we had to kind of reimagine them. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks very much.